Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Tips from Paradise Energy Solutions. I'm Rick Naranjo here with Matt Miller and uh, today Matt we'd like to talk about the importance of torquing uh, electrical connections. Uh, if you make an electrical connection um, in your uh, circuit breaker panel or disconnect that's not torqued properly, uh, your, your, conne your connection between the wire and the lug uh, may not be safe and may loosen over time and overheat or if you uh, tighten it down too much you may actually distort the, the conductor. So Matt's going to show us how to do a, a torque. Uh, torque. We, we have a, a blank disconnect here uh, for demonstration purposes only. If you had to do this out in the field under live conditions you would want to make sure that the, the circuit was dead, electrically dead and um, if by chance you had to do a torque test on a live circuit then you'd have to wear your proper personal protective equipment such as uh, insul using insulated tools and uh, uh, arc flash gear if required. So as Rick said, uh, torquing down every conductor is really important. So um, basically anywhere a wire lands inside a panel okay. should be torqued. So we have main lugs here and also the ground and neutral bar in this case. Um, so each of these has different torque ratings in most cases. Uh, what you can do is look at the door on uh, most disconnects and AC panels and see the torque ratings um, listed for that. So in this case, the torque for the main lugs is uh, 275 inch pounds. So that would be these top and bottom main lugs. I can pull up our AC panel here. And as far as the front door, you'll see something uh, very similar. The torque ratings for both the main lugs and uh, the ground bar as well. So in this case, our main lugs are, the torque is 225, and that's inch pounds. I'll grab a conductor. As Rick mentioned before, everything in this scenario is disconnected from power and completely um, dead. So if you can hold this end, sure. Rick, just okay. to hold it in place. Um, now this being an aluminum conductor, we would usually put no locks on it, but we won't actually use it in this case, so we will just insert that there. And I'm going to guess you want to make sure that the, that the lug is not hitting the uh, insulation, correct yep, man? That's correct, okay. because um, a big key in torquing, the reason you torque is to um, make sure that you get it tight enough so that you don't increase the resistance and create heat at that connection. Okay. If you pinch insulation, uh, that can uh, increase the resistance okay. and cause problems. And I wanted to mention too, uh, this is an aluminum conductor, so make sure you follow, for aluminum conductors, you follow the manufacturer's guidelines. In some cases, they may want you to wire brush the conductor yep. and apply an antioxidant like Nolox to it. Some manufacturers don't require that, but make sure again, read the instructions for your particular conductor. Yep. So this is our torque wrench. We have it set to 225 inch pounds. It has an indicator when you're getting close to the proper torque. Then a green light and that beep indicates that you're at a positive torque. We went just over our 226 inch pounds. Okay, very good. So that's a well torqued conductor. Thanks. Well Matt, thanks. And uh, thanks for watching of uh, the value and importance of proper torquing for electrical connections. And the same holds true for mechanical connections used in a solar electric system. So thanks for watching this, this week's version of Tech Tips from Paradise Energy Solutions.